What happens when the lens implant from cataract surgery dislocates or falls out of position? In this video, I'll show you, so come along! We always talk about the lens implant from cataract surgery lasting the rest of your life, but sometimes there's trauma or other unfortunate events that cause the lens implant to dislocate years later. We just saw a patient who had problems 15 years after her original cataract surgery. She said whenever she looked up and down the whole world seemed to shake and on top of that everything was out of focus. This is what we saw underneath the microscope. You can literally see the lens implant shaking inside the eye as the patient blinks. Let's freeze frame that image to show you each part. Now the central lens optic is surrounded by two blue haptics made out of proline that help to hold the lens in place. You can tell that the lens implant is subluxed or dislocated over to the left and down. So not only does the patient's vision jiggle anytime they look left or right, but also the vision is out of focus. Just imagine having a permanent lens implant inside the eye that was crooked and not centered. So what do we do? Well, we go to surgery and we fix the problem. Historically, sutures were used to either anchor the lens implant to the iris or inside lining of the eye onto the sclera. More recently, we have a technique called the Yamane technique, whereby no stitches are needed. The way this works is we take each haptic and externalize it through a small scleral tunnel. Once the blue proline haptic is externalized through the scleral tunnel, cautery is used to create a terminal flange. Now that the flange has been created, the haptics can be placed back through the scleral tunnel and the flange is buried underneath the conjunctiva. This creates a perfect anchor to keep the lens optic perfectly centered in the center of the eye. When the surgery is done, we place a patch over the eye and the patient is brought to the recovery unit. So how did this patient do? Let's have a look at the slit lamp to show you the results. Now right away you can see the lens implant is perfectly centered with a dilated pupil. When we zoom in, you can see that tiny blue dot. That's the flange of that haptic just underneath the scleral wall. Incidentally, this patient also had a previous Ahmed valve implant. For those of you who are interested in the topic of cataracts, cataract complications, and how these problems are remedied, I'm going to put together a playlist over here that you can click to watch. And for those of you who made it to the end of the video, thank you. I appreciate your time. And if you have just a moment, click the like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.